anti-consumerist group Adbusters Media Foundation gathered a few hundred protesters in occupied Wall Street and social networks last weekend to express their frustrations with, with what they see as an anti-democratic corporate behavior in America. The website for Occupy Wall Street claims to be the 99% that will no longer tolerate the greed and corruption of the 1%. They have a little over 14,000 followers on Twitter and 19,000 likes on Facebook. But the noise they're making is getting a lot of coverage. So Mark, do you think this is just another protest or is this actually something bigger? I think it can be something yeah. bigger. You know, my, my question is, and I, maybe I haven't investigated enough, but I haven't seen like a clearly defined outcome like what is their action yeah. what are they going to say means this is the successful outcome yeah. and what they're doing is that the, the right step to get to get there and uh, you know i applaud the effort of actually people physically getting the effort to get off their butts and going out to do something um but i would like to see that that effort used in an effective way to affect the change because we all know that there is a huge problem mm -hmm. with with Wall well, Street. So just I joined the conversation on Twitter using the hashtag Occupy Wall Street and it seems like the different issues that people really want resolved there are way across the board. We had one tweet from at Papasak who said my Occupy Wall Street ponies are breaking up too big to fail banks and ending money domination of news and politics and then I had one from One Voice 2D um, we stand united to let Congress and corporations know that we will not stand quietly while they destroy our democracy. So that's, a, I mean, so those are valid points. It's a bit broad. I think in the end, a lot of people want the increase in taxes for the rich, obviously, yeah. right? So do you think anything beneficial or meaningful is going to come of this, Romney? I do. I mean, there's a couple of things. One thing I would say is, you know what, don't get me wrong. I really do, like Mark, I applaud the people who have come out and, you know, uh, are making an effort. But I'm like, just let Obama get tear gassed and beat down with the nightsticks because he's doing the, you know, because of the Obama tax is going to, you know, let him take the ass whipping. It's already going on. And, it, it, you know, I'm not sure if it actually, if it actually makes sense. I understand the global impact that it can have. But like, you know, he said, I'm not quite sure where we're going with it. So I'm like, Obama's already doing it. So to me, it's kind of like. It's redundant in my personal oh, Is this the new Arab Spring? I mean, people are saying this is like the revolution in America now. Yeah, you know, I, I think right now the way it comes off to me, it just seems like, you know, and people expressing their frustration. Mm -hmm. But what's really going to make a difference is, you know, like you said, it's organization. And right now, to be honest with you, Obama's already doing what the ultimate goal is, which is the rich tax, which even though a lot of people have beef with, it's like, to me, it's like, Think of all the low-income families that are actually fighting wars on behalf of this country so that people like me can continue to thrive and be incentivized for, you know, working hard. So long and the short of it is, I'm saying, look, no sense in going out there and getting your ass whipped and being beat down with nightsticks when Obama's already taking it for you and making the tax... He's already said he's going to veto anything that denies what he's trying to accomplish. So. Well, it's interesting to see, uh, you know, the noise that was online, now offline, and actually the name, phone number, and family details of a police officer who some accused of using pepper spray on peaceful female protesters were posted by the hacker collective Anonymous. So is this holding people account accountable, or is it just me merely inciting more violence, do you think, and, and more noise? Well, I like the idea of citizens recording encounters with yeah. the police and these kinds of things because for the first time police are being held accountable for doing stuff that they've been getting away with for you know decades if not centuries like no one would ever track down that person or be able to but of course people no, like anonymous they have, right they're around and, to do that and they've doxed him as the word is to you know i mean you can go on there i, I think it's 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 going too far they have his name his address every family member's name address it's crazy. places of employment i mean it's a lot. Uh, you it know. shows that you could really be targeted once you put yourself out there like this. So does, does social media change the context in which we understand events like this? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but the funny thing is, is that we're, I don't know, we're such a like, you know, it takes so much to jerk us out of our, our skin. It's almost as though in this weird way, by seeing it, it has less of an impact. Because suddenly now when things are seen on TV, because of how sensationalized everything is, they just become, it becomes normal. We become you know? Well, I actually saw exactly. it separated because it was happening in New York, but it's actually continuing to happen. And now celebrities like Michael Moore yeah. are jumping on board as well. Michael yeah. Moore showed up yesterday in New York, and it really helped boost the morale down at yeah. the camps, uh, down near Wall Street. He even tweeted from his account, you can follow him at, at MMFlint. He tweeted that it was a great mix of all kinds of people who just had it. 
and he posted a picture of himself mingling with the crowd. Susan Sarandon also just showed up yeah. earlier today, and she was uh, just lending her voice to the people and letting Media them support them. Media whores. I'm telling you. Oh, is that what you think? No, no they're no, activists, Robin. No, I, I know. Right. True activists. True, no, no, don't get, don't get it twisted. I completely respect the effort. I'm just saying that, look, yo, I'm from the black community. I'm telling you, getting riled up and emotional don't get you you know what I mean? <laughs> you to have know. to organize with intent. That's yeah. the bottom line. That's a, yeah. yeah, good yep, to know. Well, right yeah. yeah, there you go. We have yeah. some audience that we're about to. That's why an audience is here, to respond to what you're saying. Well, in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street, a website and Facebook page under the banner, Occupy Together is working to organize more protests across the country. There are events planned for today in Omaha, San Diego, and Boston. And that brings us to today's poll question. Do you think meaningful changes can come from protests like these in America? Let us know by answering our poll on facebook.com slash what's trending. On a lighter note,